savior. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in sunder. He burns the chariot in fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heavens, and I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Let's pray. God, we have certainty and hope that you are our refuge in times of trouble. Thank you, Lord, that in these moments when our eyes are swell with tears and a plethora of emotions are running through us, that, God, we can find a safe place, a refuge in the God that knows everything. And so today, God, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that, God, your peace may abide, your comfort will give strength, that, God, you will help this family and these, fa these friends as we uh, go through this moment, this valley of the shadow of death. You promise that when we go through these moments, that, God, you will be with us. That God, you will lift up every burden. That God, you will wipe away tears. And so, God, we're clinging to that promise that you gave unto us, even in this moment. In the name of the Christ, we do pray. Amen. Amen. This time, we can have any acknowledgments. I do want to make mention that there were the church letters that was um, sent to the family. They've already received that. Um, so we are grateful. Lord, on behalf of First Calvary Baptist Church, and many of the members of that church are here to support you, my brother and sister Shroud, and uh, undergird you and walk with you in this moment. Any other acknowledgments? All right. Let's prepare for the eulogistic moment. Come ye. This consolate very anguish come to the mercy seat fervently healed. and uh, verse 1 uh, read often when we come to these moments uh, but today I want to not read I'm, I'm not going to read it from the traditional version King James or the NIV um, but there's a there's a cryptic poignant word um, out of the message Bible the Eugene, uh, Eugene Peterson's translation that simply says this don't let this throw you. You believe in God. Yes. Believe also in me. Amen. And that's my word to you today, that for a few seconds today. That's why I'm going to encourage this family in the midst of this transition from Sister Wanda um, from, from death really to life eternal. Uh, in the midst of the plethora and the pain of all of this, here's the word that I want to give you. Don't let this throw you. Life is filled with so many uncertainties. Uh, you, one day you get up, you feel like you on top of the mountain. The next day you're down in the valley. One day you got friends. The next day the people that you thought you were your friends are your foes. One day you got good health. The next day you find yourself with bad health. Life is filled with uncertainty. And how we deal with the uncertainties of life um, sometimes can cause us um, to rock the core of our existence. If we're not careful, when life, when life um, catches us unaware and life catches us on a guard, that we find that we'll find ourselves, if we're not rooted and grounded, grounded, we'll find ourselves retreating to what used to be, going back to old habits, going back to old places, going back to old old relationships. 
because of the uncertainty of life, we'll find ourselves comfortable in our used-to-be moments. Life is filled with uncertainty. Um, the, the, the prophet says over in um, Ecclesiastes that, um, that at the very crust of our existence, that all of us have to very have to live. That at how we live and our quality of life is really left up and determined by each and every one of us. I can't. I cannot. I cannot give you the quality of life. I, I wish I could just hand out and, and share with everyone that this is the way that life has to be and this is the way you ought to live. But at the end of the day, the reality is that life sometimes can knock the life out of you. Life can knock you to the core of the crucible of your existence and cause you to cry in the midnight hour or even while the sun is shining. God, why this? Why this moment? Why this time? God, why her? I, I like this because, because in, in, in our aesthetic moments while we're wrestling with life, that those who know, who know God and who have a relationship with God can meet these moments uh, as difficult as they are with tears in our eyes, uh, meet these moments uh, even when our hearts are broken and shattered because of the relationship is no longer there, we can meet these moments not as those that have no hope because our hope goes beyond the grave. Our hope says that this is not the end, that this is just a momentary transition to something great. Our, our hope says that there's a brighter side to this. Our hope says there's some better things on the other side of this. Some of you all have seen that um, the commercial late in the late in late hours, they come with these infomercials on TV and every now and then there's this one infomercial, they'll tell you, well, um, we have this um, these kitchen utensils, we have this, this knife set and it's a beautiful knife set. We'll give you 10 for uh, for not not a hundred dollars, not we're gonna knock off twenty dollars. Not not even for that, we're gonna knock off another forty dollars. But we'll give you this knife set for nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine. We'll give you and and wait, there's more. If if you if you get, get not only the knife set, but we got this that this nice spatula set that go along with it. You get the spatula and this knife set together. And, uh, and you got this one big fee of $19.99 if you get it right now. But wait, there's more. You can get the knife set, you can get the spatula, and we got some forks that are here also. You get the forks, the knife set, and all this thing up for $19.99, but wait, there's more. That's the, that's the reality for those that are that die in the Lord. That this is not at all. This is not the end of it all. This is not the crucible. This is not the crust. This is not the end. Wait, there's more. There's a bright side somewhere. Wait, there's more. There's uncloudy days. Wait, there's more. There's a God that sits high and looks low. That's welcoming. Wait, there's more. There's a tree that's there that's good for the healing of the nations. Wait, there's more family, God shall wipe all tears from your eyes. Wait, there is more. This is not the end. This is not the end. So what are you saying, preacher? I'm saying that when you come to these moments, cry yes. And I dare not stand here with some Mickey Mouse theology and tell you not to cry. Yes, cry. We get it out. Get mad. Get mad as y'all add on to that. <laughs> But at the end of the day, know that her journey is over and your journey continues. Yes. But we have hope because the text says, don't let this throw you. For you believe in God. And, and that's all I want to tell you. Family, believe in God and believe also. There, there, is, there, is, a, there is something that fortifies you when you come to these moments, when you know that you're not by yourself, that there is a God that'll help you, that will undergird you, that'll give you strength. I'm telling you what I know, that will give you strength when you go through these moments. You believe in God. You keep your hand and you keep your trust in God because the Father knows and the Father cares. I end with this. 
when you talk about the, the father, care of the father, I, I was thinking about uh, how my daughter, who's now 20, uh, 25, but when I taught her, Mr. Shroud, how to, how to ride a bike, I, uh, I put training wheels on the bicycle because she didn't, she didn't know how to ride the bike. And, uh, and I didn't want my, my baby to get hurt. But she wanted, she wanted, Daddy, I want to ride the bike. I bought the bike. She wanted to ride the bike. She, and, but I put the training wheels on it to aid her so because she couldn't steady the bike. Uh, but, but she would get on and put her weight on, and she would try with the training wheels, and she'd be flying. But I knew that there was going to come a day I would have to take the training wheels off. That if she was going to be successful in riding the bike, that um, she needed the, the wheels take, taken off. And so I took the wheels off. And, and I didn't just let her go on her own, but as a good daddy, I tried to be as a good daddy. I uh, I, I held the seat yes. and held the handlebars yes. until she could steady herself. But then I, I realized that there was gonna, there was a moment that I was gonna have to let go and trust her to go through the process. Y'all ain't hear what I'm saying? That, that, uh, I would love to just walk with her and guide her along the way. But as a good father, I'm gonna have to allow her. Oh, to go on her own. And so when I took took my hands off, she she stared on and she got a little nervous, but she pedaled a little bit. Uh, but she got to the point where she happened to try to look back to see where I was and bam, fell on the ground. Crying and weeping. I ran there to get my baby. That's my baby. And she crying and she hurt. I hurt because she hurt because that's my baby. Bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. And I can't see her laying on the ground going through this. I went and got her and uh picked up the bike in one hand, got in the other hand, took it back to the steps, kissed a little boo-boo, and, and said, that's all right. It's going to be all right, baby. It's going to be all right. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. And after she stopped crying, I said, you want to try it again? Come on. You want to try it again? She would get back up on it, and, and I would grab the seat, hold the handlebars, and walk with her, run with her while she's pedaling. And, uh, and a couple times she fell again. But I encouraged her to get back up on the bike and try it again. Guess what happened? I tried it for the fourth or fifth time and held her while she was riding the bike and let her go. And she kept going, 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 going. My baby had it. She was going. But this is what it taught me. She trusted in the hands of her father because she thought the father still had her. The father didn't have her. She, um, she couldn't see the father, but the father could see her. But she kept going, she kept going, and kept going. All I'm trying to tell you, family, I'm done. But you got to learn how to trust in the hands of the father. Because the father will keep you even when you don't think he's guiding you and directing you. The father will take you on. Precious Lord, take my hand. Lead me on. Let me stand. I am tired. I am weak. I am warm. But through the dark and through the storm of light, Lead me on to the light. Precious yeah. Lord, yeah. take my hand yeah. and lead me on. Yeah. Father, we give you praise for this life. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank, Thank you for this father, mother, family so members that have gathered here, friends from all over to come celebrate her life and her life. We, we offer her now to the God that gave her to us. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 For as much as it pleased the Almighty, wise God, our Father, to take out of this world the soul of our deceased sister, we therefore return her remains to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. Look into the sure and blessed hope of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ whose second coming to judge the world, the earth and the sea will give up their dead, <coughs> and the corruptible bodies that sleep in him will be changed. And I heard a voice from heaven declare, right, blessed are they that die in the spirit, for they rest for their labor and their works do follow. Amen. Amen.
Today's Dove presentation is a gift to you from the Graves family. Once again, life has given us sadness, but God gives us his peace that passes all understanding to guard our hearts and minds. And doves are symbolic of peace. Today we release these beautiful doves, and they too are symbolic. None more important than the first one, which represents your loved ones going home, making the journey home. Dove will not fly alone, but be followed by three more. They represent the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit and fulfill the promise of Scripture that God will never leave us nor forsake us, even to the end. Now, when the doves leave here today, they'll go home. The truth is, each of us will leave here someday. And as we put our trust in the Lord, we too can expect to make that glorious journey home. The psalmist said, Oh, that I had the wings of a dove, then I would fly away be at rest. Thank you.